Hello everyone, welcome to Healy Moon Tarot. Uh, this is your weekly singles love reading for Cancer. How are you guys? Hope all's well. Let's see what your energies are this week. Single Cancers in their love life. Oh, too many popped out there. I don't know what's what. Single Cancers, what is it you need to know? Uh, out of the woods. So five of coins somebody's feeling a little left out in the cold or it could be financial issues but i feel this energy of out of the woods whatever it may be yeah i see a new beginning so beautiful this is lovely something is out of the woods it's something obviously clearing up here yeah it's just i'm just going to put these six cards out what does cancer need to know yeah, manifesting your dream. So I do see a start of something new, three of wands. Somebody may be waiting for something here. Maybe it felt left out in the cold, feeling lonely, feeling lack. Well, out of the woods, okay? So there's something new beginning here. Gorgeous. Yeah, and we have two more. Oh, emotional mastery. King of Cups, this could be yourself, Cancer. And I see... Um, Ten of Coins, a family legacy. So this could be somebody here, very much love of family, love of home, okay, or somebody who wants that. It could be a person who's a business owner, maybe running a family business. But this is someone mastering their emotions here. Very nice. They're ready to manifest something. And we have a shift of energy. So yeah, there may have been some Five of Swords, some trust issues. The other side of this card is not by the rules. So somebody maybe didn't play by the rules at some point, ghosted someone, ignored them, left them out in the cold, or someone who's just been feeling that way on the outside looking in. So we have a new beginning. Someone here is ready to manifest their dreams. So it's a situation coming to fruition. But it could be someone who's just, like I say, looking elsewhere, where the ship has sailed in the past here. But this person's definitely emotionally mature. Very nice, whether it's yourself or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or just somebody in that energy. Um, let's go for, let's go for these. I'll make a little bit of room. I'm going to pull out some Oracle cards, and with Oracle cards, I have to just trust my intuition here. Tell me about this Five of Coins. Yeah, so this is somebody who is in protective mode, maybe protecting their money or just protecting their heart. You know, someone here who's feeling lack and loneliness, but like I say, out of the woods, a dragon horde. Someone's focused more on the future here, protecting the future. So there has to do with a family legacy, possibly a family business, or just protecting family. Yeah, someone's definitely gone deep into their feelings. They've gone very, very deep, exploring those feelings here. Ooh, the deep diver. Someone's going deep here. Deep emotional energy. And let's grab another one for manifesting. What's manifesting here? What's coming to fruition? Ooh, change, herald of change. This is someone ready for change. Beautiful, change of course direction. Yeah, this is very positive. Could be positive financial change. You're just coming out of the cold, feeling lonely, lack. Yeah, it's a total shift in energy with the five of swords. So it could be someone who had some trust issues here. Whoops, didn't know that was on. My tablet's sitting on the side here. Yeah, the will-o'-wisp. Ooh, treasure hidden in the shadows. Someone's gone very deep into their emotions. There's treasure here. So this is somebody I feel has probably got some, you know, financial stability. Like I say, a family legacy, a business owner. Yeah, but it's often a person who's, a, it's also the Ten of Coins is a house, a home, a family. So there's treasure hidden in the shadows. Someone's been doing some shadow work. They've gone deep. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Let's have a look at the family legacy. Oh, yeah. Someone's intentions, the eye of the needle. So this is someone here maybe had trust issues to do with what someone's intentions were originally. But there's treasure because someone's discovering something here. I can see they got their eye on the situation, but it has to do with someone's intentions. So there's definitely a shift. See, someone wasn't trusting a situation, but what it's happened is they've gone through change because they've gone deep. Something emotional may have happened, ghosted, ignored, left out in the cold, or just that feeling of lack, some very negative, very deeply emotional negative energy. But it is an energy of someone protecting themselves, their legacy, family, and their heart. 
So, yeah, let's have a look at the Five of Swords. And we have, yeah, so this is someone closing the door on those trust issues. Something is complete. They've closed the door on the past, that negative energy. So this is someone who's got their eye on the situation. This is so funny because I've seen this in a Sag reading, a similar kind of energy. <laughs> yeah, well, we are in a karmic year this year, so... But this is someone's intentions to keep their eye on the prize here. But they're closing the door on the past and they're getting ready for something new. So there's change coming. Beautiful. I'm going to move these out of the way. Now let's clarify um, this deep diver. We're going to close the door on that past. Yeah. Yeah, so someone tempering their past. See, I've felt it's very similar to the Sag reading. So there's some cancer energy, possibly. You might want to watch that if you got, if you're dealing with Sag or you have it in your chart. But it's really just an energy of someone pulling back, seeing things differently, see change. So someone is is seeing things different. Why? Because there's some change happening, and it has to do with leaving this negativity in the past. So this is somebody here tempering their passions, emotions, head and heart. See, tempering their feelings. Yeah, it's a little bit of a little bit of a test here. I feel. Yeah, this is someone let go of baggage from the past. So this is someone who definitely has a lot on their plate. They have a lot on their plate, maybe working multiple jobs, working a lot. They have a lot of weight on their shoulders, but they can carry a lot of weight. This is someone here ready to try something different. Yeah, it's an energy of looking on the past, uh, responsibility, baggage being released. So it's an energy of someone getting ready for something new here. Yeah, the herald of change, the horseman. It tells me there's some kind of communication. Yeah, there it is, Cancer. The chariot, full steam ahead. Strong mind, strong will, energy. Someone's willpower. They're leaving this in the past, but this is someone I feel is putting on the put on the brakes a little, and they're looking at things different because they're feeling different. So how they felt at this point, they're now feeling different here because they're closing the door on the past overcoming challenges and obstacles but somebody here had some trust issues about what somebody's intentions were so if you were dealing with this person and they slammed on the brakes they're now feeling different because things have calmed down they've healed and they're balancing themselves out a little bit more here let's have a look at the willow wisp the treasure hidden in the shadows this is, yeah, oh yeah, this is someone feeling the love here, longing for love. Yeah, this is someone who's got their eye on the situation, but it's someone looking at what someone else's intentions are. They may, could be someone who's dealt with a situation where there was just a lot of negativity, and it could have been to do with someone's finances, protecting a family legacy, their house, their home, but it's also an energy of someone who wants a partner. So it has to do with this person's intentions, is to close the door on the past, yeah, look at the tower. Some kind of shock, surprise, something sudden. This massive epiphany, this person here. Yeah. Wow. So it does look like someone closing out that past, closing the door. But I feel something happened with this person, though. I got to be honest, where someone just pulled the rug out from under them. And it could be where, I mean, there's a lot of chemistry here. <laughs> there's passion chemistry hidden. This is someone who's kind of been keeping all their feelings to themselves, but this is someone who's about to reveal their intentions. And it has to do with overcoming trust because they're looking at this. Yeah, they see treasure, they know. <laughs> passion. See, it's two people who build each other up. So this is this passion being ignited. Uh, this person here is definitely having a massive epiphany. But yeah, it's closing the door on the past and ready for something new. I feel like you're going to be shocked and surprised at what this person has to say. Yeah, they're ready for new. Oh my gosh. See, the sun is shining. This is someone feeling happier. This is generally cancer. Somebody who's generally happy, positive. But it's an energy of what somebody puts out there. See, what you put out there comes back to you. It's an energy of someone who's open and ready for something new. So beautiful energy. It could be yourself or somebody you're dealing with. Yeah, very nice. Tell me more about the chariot. Yeah, see, this is an energy of someone who's been there, done that. You see, now there t this is there, there's opportunity here. There's movement. This is someone coming in to take the lead. 
they're 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 gonna close the door on the past they're ready they're gonna step up to the plate and start something so there's momentum there's movement and i see communication coming in too there's the messenger of change communication coming this person's determined to have success so full steam ahead this person's not messing around here they got their eye on this <laughs> there could be somebody who's discovering what someone's intentions were that they actually wanted to get something going so if you had somebody who's kind of put on the brakes at some point they're looking at this different because they're feeling different now how they felt before compared to how they feel now so it has to do with investing you see it has to do with investing so it's probably again a common energy with people who rush into things too quickly and get a little emotionally overwhelmed yeah, so it's an energy of being patient, but it has to do with investing. So someone who's no longer invested in the past, they're now ready. So there's interest, they're showing interest. So this is someone who's seeing, maybe you were just interested in this person. They put on the brakes, kind of freaked out about what your intentions were, because I feel they have some trust issues. Okay, but I also see this is somebody who at some point felt very defeated. They're very feeling very negative. Like I say, protecting themselves, their future, but their heart as well. So there was definitely some some heartache somewhere in here. But I feel there's love. It's a bond, a connection between two people. Oh, yeah, this is someone rising like the phoenix from the ashes. Now, it could be just their energy. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, often with this King of Wands. Yeah, some strong Aries energy and Leo, too. So there's a lot of power, a lot of passion, a lot of confidence. Oh, yeah, this is someone here. This is someone who's tempered that passion, though. Like I say, they're been there, done that. This is someone who's could have to do with control. Maybe they lost control of a situation, but it's about stepping up to the plate, taking the lead. This person's a leader. They're going to take the lead. So you may be a little freaked out about what their intentions are. Well, it's love. It's a bond. They're closing out. This is somebody who possibly could have other options, but I feel they're, you know, not invested in any of them because they've been there, done that. So it's somebody who very much focuses on what someone's intentions are. What do they really want? <laughs> yeah, well, I think you're going to be shocked and surprised. Very. Look at this happy, a happy surprise. This is someone who's definitely very determined. You know, they know what they want, yeah, and they're actually feeling very confident. Treasure hidden in the shadows. There's something special about this person, or they see you that way, and they want to know. So look at that. Something to do with the house, a home, a shock, surprise, a celebration. Yeah, this is somebody, definitely somebody with a, a, a strong, solid financial foundation. They could be seeing you that way and vice versa. They definitely are. This masculine King of Cups energy is stable, but it has to do with a house and a home family. Maybe a family-based business where they're protecting this, you see, protecting the future. So, but I feel this is someone who's definitely uh, was having a lot of something really negative happening. More than likely a situation that pulled the rug out from under them, but the change is beautiful here. Yeah, see, something has ended. They're no longer invested. See, they're no longer invested in the past. This is all internal. This is all internal because something within this person, it's like whatever happened, they just kind of died inside. I got to be honest very negative, very sad, left out in the cold, feeling lonely, you know, yeah, and I feel like a lot of internal, it's a transformation, so it's over, whatever it is that they're closing that door, they're ready for new, so I feel this person, if you have dealt with them, and you know who it is, I feel this person's really, really hoping you haven't closed the door on them, because I feel they're feeling very confident, strong, they are looking on the past with kindness, compassion. It could be somebody wanting forgiveness, okay? But they are definitely a very kind and compassionate person. That's their inner self. So I definitely see a Scorpio energy there for some of you. Tell me about this house and home. Oh, yeah, it's an emperor. See, this is a, could be a business owner. 
the legacy. See how they're getting becoming more and more uh, confident. So they have been focused on money, finances, but it's about partnership. It's about partnering up. This person's intentions is to make this happen. We know the emperor can make things happen. They're feeling very bold, very confident. Now, some of you may have ended something with somebody who's a king of wands moving towards an emperor because I'm seeing Aries, Leo, Sag energy here, Cancer, and Scorpio too. So, yeah, it's just, an, I feel it's just the passion, the power, and the treasure in the shadows. Yeah, someone is quite well off, I feel. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to tell you about this person. When you partner up with a person like that, this, okay, they will protect you, okay? They're, it's a very protective person. They Not only do they protect with theirs, but they protect their partner. So I feel they're very happy, very positive. They want to start something new. So let's have a look at the sun. Yeah, see everything they could ever want. See, they're releasing the past things that no longer serve. This person may have been trying to control something and lost control, okay? Releasing anything that no longer serves. But it also has to do with this person's hopes and dreams here. You know, they want to get something going. They're hoping this is mutual, that you're feeling the same, the passion. But it's also somebody with a lot of drive, a lot of ambition, and they're determined to be successful. But I feel they had a, a situation that wasn't, and now they're determined even more so, because you can see this person coming in here, releasing the past and ready for new, their hopes and dreams. Yeah, they could be in your social circle. They're letting someone go. They may even release some friends, some people, family members. It's hard to say what's happened here, but it's likely different for everyone. But I, I see some kind of good news, everything they could want. I feel that you're, you may travel in the same social circle here. I see friends, good news, something very positive coming out of this. Wow. Yeah, so someone here been waiting. Yeah, see, I feel the ship has sailed for someone, but it's an energy of a situation coming to fruition. I, I, it has to do with this person starting it. Now, there could be some sort of gathering where someone's closing the door. There could be somebody who's passed away here where somebody was in that negative energy. It's very possible there may have been uh, a passing in the family. But it's an energy of things being passed down through generations here, I feel, too. That's why I feel someone's protecting that generational energy because that's what that family legacy is. I feel that for some. But others of you, it's just a house, a home, a family. Yeah, so much happiness here. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's been longing for love. Yeah, there could be just a crush, but there's definitely somebody who's really longing for love. They're actually a very emotional person, but it's they're very... Um, I would have to say a little skeptical at times because of what people's intentions are, but their intentions is to get this going, to release things from the past, okay, to make sure this is mutual. But I do see mutual friends in a gathering. So there's some sort of gathering here. Now, I know we've been having a lot of high school reunions, family reunions, and things like this, or just parties and gatherings in general. So there's going to be some kind of news about this. So this is somebody here, I feel. This is likely someone who's going to show you that they like you. It's more than likely a crush, but it's definitely a person who's, you know, doing a lot of reminiscing and they're clearing out that past. So they're clearing things out. They might even be clearing, you know, memories and things out of their house, their home. From a past relationship. So... Yeah, very nice energy, though. It's a person preparing, going about things the right way. So I'm going to grab. Um, I just wanted to get a couple more on that uh, Ten of Wands, actually. It's been, my eye keeps getting drawn to that. Yeah, so someone has been doing a lot of thinking, analyzing. It has to do with truth. It has to do with seeing the truth, speaking the truth. So this is somebody who I feel has gone very deep within their emotions. I feel there's a lot of feelings here. So it does look like somebody got, I don't know, maybe a little overwhelmed, things happening too fast, it, you know, communication coming in out of the blue. But it has to do with either somebody's passed away, passed things down, and someone's very much focused on it, but it has to do with someone seeing the truth. 
They're very much protecting themselves, protecting their heart, the legacy. See, that's why I feel a family-based business. But I do see children. I do see there's possibly children involved. But I really feel like it's that longing, so much longing for love. Yeah, someone's just re reminiscing about their past here and they're closing that out. Yeah, they're definitely single, longing for love. They have everything. This is someone who has everything but love. And it's what they, uh, it's something I feel they've always wanted. Never really, you know, got that long-term energy. But the fact that they're very positive, you're going to get a communication. If you've been waiting for this, this person's going to come in. They're determined that this is successful. So look at the manifesting. They have all the tools, the information. They have everything they need. But they're also gathering up info. They're learning something here. Yeah. Very. This is someone who's been manipulated before. Ghosted, ignored with somebody here. You see, this is why I feel they're really looking at it. But it has to do with truth and truth within themselves, their own feelings. I feel they were with someone. It just wasn't meant to be. Because it's like they were in this connection with someone where I don't know if there was just lack, a lot of lack in the relationship. But it is definitely a protective energy. Wow. So now let's have a look at what they're manifesting. And it's going to be communication, some sort of communication. You're going to be shocked and surprised what this person has to say. Okay, because they're just going to put them out, so out there and express themselves. But they are generally, I feel, a very, very positive person, a very confident person, strong mind, strong will, a lot of willpower. They can accomplish anything. So and this is somebody who feels if they can go through all this and accomplish all this, they can accomplish love. And that's what I feel they're up to, what they're up to here. So very, very nice. So let's have a look at this. See, let's have a look at timing. Tell me about the dragon's horde. Uh, what happened here with this ending? Yes, yeah, so maybe three months ago something happened. Okay, you may hear from this person. Maybe it's something started there. Sometime within that range, give or take. Yeah, on a sunny day. The sun is starting to shine. It's telling you again, things are clearing up. So something to do with a sunny day. Tell me more about this emperor. What is this person up to? What are they planning? They're looking into the future. This is somebody who generally gets up in the morning and they look at the bright side. You know, that's just the kind of person they are. But this is where they were. So I wonder if you connected with this person and they got overwhelmed or something had just happened. It's something that wasn't expected. So... Yeah, something unexpected, it seems to me, where they just kind of put on the brakes. And it does look like they lost control of their emotions. or And it could be maybe they were trying to control something. They need to release that. But let's have a look at this King of Swords. This is someone who'll speak truth. Yeah. So they're definitely somebody who's going to speak truth here. So I feel like with this person, they are, yeah, this October is determined to come out. And... uh Wow. So I feel like something, it may have started, this whole thing may have started with this person, or this is when it happened, maybe three months ago. It's funny, this is so much the same as Saj's reading. So there's some cancer energy there, or it's just that emotional energy. Now, when I see this, it's starting, and, and I'm seeing the, the star, the pole star, and it's telling me North Node, somebody with cancer in their North Node, possibly here. Yeah, but it has to do with something to do with October. So maybe it was a year ago. I don't know. But something to do with three months on a sunny. It was a sunny day or it's going to be a sunny day. Yeah, interesting. So I'm going to just leave that. Pull out too many of those cards. It gets confusing. So you can take that or leave it. So, But yeah, very much resonates with the Sag. And I do see Aries, Leo, Sag energy. And I see some sort of good news to do with a gathering, this person's hopes and dreams, everything they could have ever wanted. So it has to do with someone waiting and looking out elsewhere. But it, it to me, it's an energy of expansion, S closing out the past. The ship has sailed. It's too late. See, something is too late. But this person is, is not in that energy. So... 
Yeah, see, it's an energy of waiting for the cup, waiting for this person there. It's under there, emotionally mature, available. Someone is still available. And they may be looking to see if you are. If this is something that started, maybe you connect. See, and there's the three, it connects. Um, did this, did something start three months ago or did, I, it's hard to say what happened. I mean, I feel there's either somebody passed away, like I see a family legacy, but it's also somebody who's accomplished a lot. Like if I can do all this, why can't I do this? You see? And that's why I feel it has to do with whether it's mutual. This is someone looking for, uh, to see if it's mutual, but they're releasing something. And they're getting ready. They've let something go. I mean, it could be somebody who's detaching from family. Or someone's having a hard time letting somebody go. This, yeah, just take it as it resonates. But there's that Ace of Cups. They're going to offer you this cup. Yeah, this is somebody, the path they've been on. See, yeah, this looks like two people who've come apart. And they're ready for something new. They're ready to go down this path. So it is definitely someone who's healed. Uh, very, very nice. But they are very determined. So don't assume their sign. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Now, maybe you put on the brakes with this person. But this is a U-turn. It's a change coming in with communication where something, some sort of communication came in suddenly. And it has to do with whether to invest or not or the timing just wasn't right. But it's someone who's taking another look at this situation, whether it's you or them. So, but this is really, really positive. I see happiness and joy. Uh, I see this person releasing things. But I see all this. I mean, some of you may have let go of somebody here yourself. But you're, this is going down this path. This is two people coming together. What you both bring to the table. So it's hard to say what all happened here. But I feel something's going to happen in October. Yeah, and then it says within two weeks. As soon as I said that out, it came. I didn't even realize I picked this deck up. So I think you're going to look at that too. There's that two of wands. So you might hear from this person within two weeks or something is going to settle in two weeks. You're going to be shocked and surprised. I feel like you're, you're going to get something you want. Okay, so very nice. But this person definitely is someone, it has to do with their intentions and they're looking at... Because it has to do with someone, I feel, who is kind of suspicious. Because we know the emperor is someone very logical, often a little skeptical. Somebody was a little skeptical of something. But now they're looking at this totally different, with a whole different, you know, uh, perception. Or, you know, they still have their eye on this. I'm going to tell you that. So, but yeah, I, you might hear from this person within two weeks. Because it's funny, here I am talking about it, shuffling, and out comes the two weeks. So interesting. I wish you guys the best here. I feel like, you know, it's just a matter of manifesting this communication. They have everything they need, the information they now know. They could be talking to people within your social circle, maybe finding out things about yourself because it's someone who I feel was skeptical because of trust issues. I also feel they've gone through something they felt defeated. But this is a person who's not going to give up. Emperors don't quit. When they want something, they go for it. You know, they want to build. But see, they're looking at what didn't work in the past. So they're going to try something different. And it, to me, it looks like not just going about different or now putting an effort where maybe they didn't in the past. I don't know. But to me, it looks as though they want to build and they feel confident about putting in effort, about building. So there's some passion building within this person. So that's why I feel it's almost like all of a sudden they're just going to do it. Okay. So I wish you the best. <laughs> Something's building. It's the passion, the ambition, the drive. So take care and we'll see you soon.